Hello, this is Tim, and I'm here to tell you about BPOS Point of Sale for Coffee Shops. If you have one location or many locations, BPOS can help you centrally manage your reporting, inventory, gift cards, loyalty, and much more. Let's take a look at BPOS. So this is the login screen, and we can log into BPOS many different ways. I can use a number to log in. I could use an employee card to log in. I could have, or I could have a fingerprint reader to be able to log into BPOS. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna use a number, and I've logged in. Now, the menu on BPOS is fully configurable. There are, are thousands of options and ways that you could build your coffee shop menu. If you are doing a latte, of course you could ask iced or hot, regular decaf, half-calf, however you like, whatever kind of milk, skim, whole, soy, etc., and any other options, flavors, or other things that you want to order. You can also send all of those instructions to a kitchen printer, a kitchen display screen, or you can print out a label and have that placed on the side of the cup. Or if you wanna do old school, you can just write on the side of the cup and hand it to the barista. In any case, BPOS can support your needs. We'll ring up a couple of others. So we'll start by ringing up a coffee. Um, we'll ring up a coffee, and in this case, the menu set up where I have half regular, sugar, maybe equal. I could have the whole milk and the flavor at the end if I wanted to. So all options are on one screen. Of course, we could prompt through those one by one if we wanted to. Lots of different ways to be able to do that. Um, in this case, we've got other options for uh, donuts and other possible goodies that you might get with your, with your item. And as well, we can prompt for size and other options. Now, if I wanted to, uh, we just wanna take a payment the total on here is $8.51, and I have fast tender keys down at the bottom. Of course, these can be customized for the way that you like it. Um, I could, of course, type in the dollar amount that I want, but in this case, I have a fast tender key and the person gave me a $10 bill. So I press $10 bill, the cash drawer opens, the receipt printer prints, you can teach a monkey to do that in 10 minutes. Your change due will display there. Now you might want to have a customer loyalty program with your system. And your customers, uh, you might want to issue them a loyalty card. You might want to look them up by their phone number. There could be various ways that you could look up your customers by their last name, email, you name it. In this case, I'm gonna swipe a loyalty card for the customer and bring up their customer account. So now I can ring up whatever it is that they want and however they want it made. I could have it set so that it would auto prompt and it would say, hey, you have a reward for this item. Or I could have it set so that the cashier has to press a button in order to redeem the reward, meaning that the person has to tell you they have to have a reward rather than the system telling you that you have a reward. In this case, we have it set up so that I need to press a button. So I'll press redeem points and I have two free coffees that I can get and I'm gonna pick my free coffee. And now uh, that took off the free coffee, but it didn't take off the syrup upgrade. Now I could have it set up so that the syrup upgrade would be included, but in this case, I have it set up so the syrup upgrade is not. So I have an 81 cents due, and the person could pay me with a dollar, so I'll type in a dollar, and the transaction's over. So that's very basic functionality and be paused point of sale for coffee shops. Of course, there's way more features than we can possibly show in this short demonstration. If there's anything that you would like in your system that you haven't seen in this presentation, please call us today. We'll be happy to help you.